everybody. Today is Saturday, March 19th, and we're at the choir room, and I'm my robe on. And you know I'm, like, tall. <laughs> you got your arms out. You look like those are muscles or something. <laughs> And what sucks about this robe is that it matches my glasses. Yep. Why does that suck? That's a good thing. It does suck because I purposely don't want to match the robe. You can hold it for me now. Hey guys, happy Saturday. Um, I haven't put my robe on yet. It's right there. Because we are actually early to church. Can you believe that? No, I can't believe it. It's 4.38 and we weren't supposed to be here till 5. And we're singing today with the choir because tomorrow is Palm Sunday, which means only a week until Easter. So yeah, so... Um, I hope you all are having a good weekend so far. Spring break is here. We got some stuff to tell you. Um, Max got sick yesterday, and we will tell you about that um, when well, we're not at choir rehearsal. Or we're not really at choir rehearsal. We're just prepping. 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 For um, singing when the church service starts at 5:30. So yeah, it's kind of, ow, I'm pointing at my boob. I'm it's, trying to fix my robe here, lady. You have plenty of time. It's not even five yet. So? You don't need a robe. Oh, I was reading the sign over here. Music for rehearsal only. I hope we know all these songs. Yeah. We didn't come to rehearsal last week, but we have to go to rehearsal this coming Wednesday to rehearse for Easter. We didn't go last week because I didn't think they were going to have this on Saturday. Thought it would only be on Sunday when they would have the choir because normally they don't ever have choir on Saturdays unless it's a special occasion. So, you can look around. We have, I don't know what those boxes are unless it's, I guess it's all music. Boxes on the wall and then all the robes hanging up. Yeah, so there's where the director goes and you know, piano it's our choir room nothing special just a place to practice so yeah guys um, we will probably um, what's the plans for tonight I don't know we watched two movies yesterday we watched The Good Dinosaur and we watched uh, Daddy's, Daddy's Home, Home. So that was fun. They were both pretty good movies, at least we thought. And um, yeah, so tonight I don't know what we're gonna do after church since we already did the movie thing. Mom. And we had pizza yesterday too, so we had everything backwards. We had pizza and movies yesterday. But that was flippers. And that was flippers. It's still pizza. There's so. still better pieces. Maybe we can play Wii or something, or I don't know. I need to go and get some. Uh, toothpaste and some shaving cream. So maybe we'll do that after church. But anyway, um, yeah, we have to tell you about what happened with Max, and we will do that later um, when we get home. And you can see him. Uh, he's doing. Uh, he's doing okay, I guess. I mean, he just started some medication. So you know how medicines work. You gotta wait for them to actually. Get out of here for now, and we will see you soon. So Max has been sick. Um, it pretty much started on. Let's see. Yesterday was Friday, right? Yeah. So Thursday night. Um, get like close, are you? Thursday night. Uh, Max was acting really weird. Um, he kept. Uh, pacing back and forth. He was real restless. Yeah, he would like lay down. Um, I'm going to try to insert some clips on what he was doing. He would lay down for less than a minute. 
get up, move to another location, lay down for less than a minute, get up, go to the kitchen from my bedroom. You would go in the kitchen, turn around, come right back, lay down, wait about 30 seconds, get up, and then he would whine at me, um, you know, at various times as well. <laughs> He's like an alley. <laughs> That's it. Max. <laughs> like an alley's hand in our arm. So, um, anyway, um, yeah, and that's not normal for him. We've had him for five years, you know, he's seven, and he's never done that where he just paces back and forth constantly, and he, he just couldn't sleep. He was just completely restless. So, anywho, um, he also has been having, um, I don't know, I think I mentioned it maybe in another vlog where, especially when he's excited when we come home, He'll start coughing, and it sounds like a cat with a hairball. It's like, you know, he Yeah, coughs, Max. But he doesn't puke or anything. Nothing comes up. It's just an annoying, like, hacking cough, and I don't know what's causing that either. So, um, other than that, he has, like, really dry skin. He's going to do it on the, on the video, maybe. So I'm like, yeah. Yeah, all right. So there you go. That's what he's been doing. Um, they used to just be when he's excited, but now it's random time, so just cough like he's gonna throw up and nothing comes out, thankfully, because we don't have to clean it. But, um, yeah, so, um, other than that, his, um, he's had, uh, this really dry skin. You could see, like, like dandruff. If Allie always noticed this, she would go like this and be white flakes all over. And, um, he's always scratching and biting at himself. And so, <laughs> I'm talking about you. So, um, that and then Allie noticed, and this is kind of TMI, but, you know, it's part of the deal, that when he went number two bathroom, that there was, like, white-looking specks of rice in his number two. So, that, of course, um, is not normal. So, anyway, um, I stayed up all night with him. I left my door open. I usually close the door when um, I go to bed. And he usually sleeps out in the hallway or wherever he wants to go other than my room. And so I left the door open for him. And it was like well after 5 o'clock in the morning. And, you know, I fell asleep finally. Because um, I didn't know if it was serious. You know, I was concerned. And I called um, emergency, dog emergency. And they said that he... He needs to be checked out, but it's probably not a life or death thing right now. So I lay there, finally fell asleep, even though he was still walking back and forth and back and forth. He wouldn't go to sleep. He wouldn't stay settled. And so um, I um, got to sleep at 5 a.m. Around 7 something, I woke up because I had to use the bathroom and it started all over again. Finally, when I noticed Allie was awake, I think it was like... 10 or 11 or something you don't remember when you woke Ten. up Friday I finally said to her what happened and he's still sick he's restless he won't sleep and I said um, I have not had any sleep I need to take a nap so in the meantime I called the vet's office and I got him an appointment for 415 at the vet to be seen so um, I finally laid back down slept for about two hours and then got up and we took him to the vet so, the vet checked his lungs and his heart and said they sounded clear, which is always a good thing because that's major organs. So that was fine. Um, he, he said that he had a major um, skin irritation and like eczema on his skin, um, especially around his butt and his male parts. So that's why he's been scratching so much because it, he was like irritated. So he thinks that that's why he was pacing is because he was so um, uncomfortable because of his skin. So I don't know if that's the reason, but that's what the doctor said and he's a vet. And then other than that, he has uh, tapeworms. I don't know how that happened at seven years old, but that's what the little rice looking thing was in his doo doo. And so he got medicine for tapeworms, he got medicine, steroid, he got an anti-inflammatory. So they're treating, um, basically they're treating uh, his skin condition, they're treating his cough, and they're treating uh, the worms. So I have to give him medication uh, 
um, like twice a day for about 10 days I think it is. Um, so I've been using some wet food, mix him with his dry food, and throwing the pills in the food and he just gobbles it right up because he's used to dry food so the wet food is like amazing. So um, that's what's going on now. He seems to be stable. He seems to still be kind of roaming around the house a little bit. The camera's tilted. Can you see me now? <laughs> um, <laughs> So, um, he seems to be doing okay, uh, he's laying down, he's been laying down there since I've been vlogging him, so I'm gonna wait and see, um, how he does after all the medicine is gone, if he's completely better, so I don't wanna pay $130 for blood work if he doesn't appear to have anything else wrong with him. The one thing the doctor said is he needs to be put on a diet. <laughs> oh my god. Guess how much Max weighs. 27 pounds. Yeah, Max, we're talking about you. Pounds. We're talking about you, big butt. He weighs almost 40 pounds. Yes, Max. Max. You're too fat. Too much doggy ice cream. How do you get this big? You don't even eat that much. Anyway. So, he said in the future he's going to need a diet and he's going to need heartworm medication because we currently don't give that to him. So... Anyway, like I said, I hope he's going to be okay because, you know, pets are like your family and Allie is crazy about that dog, so we can't have nothing happen to Max. He cost me a whole $82 on Friday so he could get a medicine and an office visit. And yeah, so that's what happens when you have animals. You have to get them checked out sometimes. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, close out the vlog since um, it's getting long. Tomorrow uh, my son Mike is coming over. I told you guys that he did pass his pull up so we're expecting him to go in the Marines in April which is next month and I'm trying to hang out with him as much as possible until that time. So he'll be coming over tomorrow. Um, maybe their cousin Rena might be coming too for a little short visit. But um, that's the plans for tomorrow on Monday. Uh, Allie and I want to go see the new movie Miracles from Heaven, which is about God's uh, miracle um, on the true story. So we'll probably do that on Monday. Um, other than that, yeah, spring break started off bad, but I'm determined for the rest of it to be good. As um, long as our doggy's fine, everything will be good. So anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, thumbs up, comment, and subscribe and we will see you next time bye